Victor is the deputy chief of Romania's Foreign Intelligence Service and the personal security advisor to President Nicolae Ceausescu of Romania. At the airport, he says a tearful goodbye to his daughter Ileana. He requests to talk with Frank Jackson at the embassy. However, before Jackson can amuse him, Victor leaves after being startled by a familiar face. When Victor noticed a blonde woman staring at him suspiciously, he left the embassy. Soren Rancia, his Romanian equivalent, is waiting for Victor to arrive for the conference for the Pilgrims program when he stealthily enters his hotel without letting him know. Victor is being followed by a bald man as they travel to the Bonn Interior Ministry. Ingrid von Weizendorf, an employee of the Ministry of Eastern European Affairs, is the lady. Victor is only willing to accept 200 Germans, but Klaus feels terms can be adjusted. She hands over a new list with 220 names. He stalls the proceedings, as Klaus offers 3 million Deutsche Marks for the deal. Frank wants the visitor list at the embassy to be triple-checked, but Victor is spooked by someone. When Victor returns, he is given a bottle of champagne and asked to meet at Kleider and Mare that day at 5 o'clock. Victor is brought into the courtroom to meet Frank. Victor declares his desire to leave the country and adds that after sharing information with Frank, he'd want to take Adela and Ileana with him. A settlement is reached, but Victor keeps Ingrid, the one who scared him from him. He seeks information on her at the Embassy of Romania. Her housekeeper, Sophia Fahim, is Egyptian. He sends Soren off to photograph the file while also taking a picture of himself. Scott is contacted by Frank at Camp David in Maryland. He wants to hasten the process of defecting. Despite wanting to be seen with him, Ingrid consents to follow the instructions. Victor's desire to defect is denied by Langley, but Carmen is also keeping an eye on him. He discovers that someone had entered his room because the piece of paper he had wedged between the door and frame was now lying on the floor. Inside, he discovers Ingrid menacingly holding a revolver at him. 